Oh, this was a really good idea in theory. Ow. Oh. Bruh, uh, bruh, bruh, yes. Bruh. I thought, you know what? It's the holiday season. It's silly season. I'm gonna go out there and do something silly, random, just completely crazy. So I'm gonna do a video from the comfort of my living room floor. And I say comfort, it's okay. But I can tell that my butt is gonna be starting to hurt very, very shortly. And it's gonna be very quick because I've got some presents to wrap. Don't. I don't. Now, just in case you missed it this week on Twitter, Mr. James Charles, you know, the scissor sister, sister, Mr. Makeup Man, scissor guy, that, this dude. Yeah, you know him, you've probably seen him before. He's got a ton of subs, he does makeup videos, friends of Jeffree Star, man. Living the absolute life, let me tell you that. Well, this sassy sis published a tweet the other day and the tweet goes as following. Stop, Bruh. oh, shoot, oh man. God, I had one job. Please stop showing up at my house. I will not hug you, I will not take a photo with you, and I absolutely will not sign your palette. It is extremely disrespectful to make me feel very unsafe in my own home. Respect people's privacy, it's really not that hard. Um, pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, a whole bunch of his fans just out of nowhere, just randomly turn up at this guy's apartment, start knocking on his door, start waving like... Start waving like merchandise around and the palettes and like, oh hi, this is my uh, pineapple glitter spritz uh, palette. Can you sign it so I can flip it on eBay for $500? Please, James. Oh, by the way, I love your videos. Ugh, awful. And apparently this guy had like moved into a new apartment recently. So, and he's only been there for like a few months and now people already know where he lives. I mean, it is LA and people are crazy and that stuff happens, but doesn't make it right. Now, when he posted this tweet, there was a lot of support out there for him, but there was also a lot of support in favor of just randomly showing up at people's houses, unannounced, making them feel very unsafe, putting their safety in jeopardy just for the sake of a couple of Instagram videos. Now, the people that uh, supported this idea, well, they came up with the fantastic argument of, uh, well, wait a minute, uh, I watch your videos, I give you money, I buy your products, I buy your merchandise, I follow your socials. So that means, well, I guess I can just come over whenever I want. I'm basically a friend now. I am part of your slippery scissor sisters gang. That's just how it works. So if I come knocking on the door, or I ring that doorbell, or how if I just kick the door down, or if I climb in through a window, I'm allowed in and you can't say anything because I'm a subscriber, bro, okay? Get that through your head. That was people's argument in favor of just being a freak celebrity stalker. Like, oh, what? Sorry, just because you support someone and just because you might buy something and maybe you give them money and maybe you are one of the reasons they're living in a big fancy million dollar mansion and they're sipping rosé out of a glass shoe. Maybe you're one of those reasons. But even if you are, does that give you the right to uh, become part of someone's life? Become part of their private life? Does it give you the right? Hmm. <laughs> Let's have a think. Uh, no. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. And if you think it does, you're an idiot. Plain and simple. You are stupid, you are dumb, and you need to go find a new hobby. Because if your hobby is celebrity stalking and hanging outside people's mansions waiting for them to look at you so you can snap a happy shot of them and post it online and sell it to TMZ for $5,000, then you need to get out more and you need to... Go buy a Nintendo Switch or something, get it out of the house, go learn how to do pottery, go do something else, because that is a complete waste of everybody's time. Actors, athletes, whoever, if they've got an audience, if they've got clout, if they've got money, they will give back to the audience one way or another. Whether it's a signing, whether it's a meet and greet, there are methods, there are ways to get this stuff happening. But showing up to someone's house and pretty much endangering their safety because they don't know what you're gonna do. Doing that, not the way to do it. And again, if you think that's the way to do it, if you think that's a perfectly rational thing to do, you need to scissor snip that logic that you have, cut it into a million pieces, burn it, and get some new logic because that is completely wrong. I don't know if you've ever heard the story about uh, Rebecca Schaefer. Now, Rebecca Schaefer was an actor back in the 80s, I think, the 80s or 90s. Uh, she was a massive sitcom star. She was young. She had a whole life ahead of her. Everybody in Hollywood was talking about her. And she got killed by a crazed fan who found out her address, showed up at her door, and just popped her, dead, she's gone. So obviously if you're a celebrity and you've got people showing up to your house, you don't know what's gonna happen. You're just like, oh, 
Oh, fuck! There's like five million people outside my house. What am I meant to do? I'm like a skinny guy that makes YouTube videos. Like, who am I gonna fight? What am I gonna do about it? I would like to come out and say that, James, I support you, my friend. I don't want to come to your house. I don't like you that much. I really don't. I don't really like anybody that much to the point where I want to show up to their house. I barely go to my friend's house, let alone go to a celebrity's house. Like, even if I knew where these people lived, like, why, why would I want to go there? I have better things to do. Let's take uh, the rewired soul, okay? My good friend Chris, uh, his lovely girlfriend drew this fantastic artwork of me, making me look good for the first time in my entire life, so thank you again, Tag Doodles. Tag Doodles, Young Noodles. Ah. I am a, I'm a patron for the Rewired Soul, okay? Um, so that means I give the Rewired Soul money, okay? Um, if I found out where Chris lived, um, does that give me the right to just show up at his house, knock on his door, start brewing myself a cup of coffee, and sit down and watch the NFL on a Sunday? Uh, no! Doesn't work that way! I'm sure he'd probably let me, because, uh, we're buddies, but just the fact that I'm giving him money and I'm a fan of his doesn't give me the right, okay? It doesn't give me the right! These people, at the end of the day, no matter how much money, no matter how much fame, no matter how much clout, no matter how many Gucci handbags they've got in their closet, they are still humans, and they're entitled to their personal life. And I hear people say, oh, you're a celebrity. Oh, once you decide to become a celebrity, you chuck out all your privacy rights, you chuck away all your rights to live a normal life, you live in the spotlight now, you're a public figure, you have to be at our fingertips anytime we want. Ah. Uh... Doesn't work that way either. These people, just because they're on TV, uh, just because you watch their content hours and hours worth, doesn't mean that they are your toys, okay? Doesn't mean they're your toys. I have crazed fans as well, so I understand how, how just tough it can be. But you know what? Sometimes you've just got to tell these people, listen, I don't care if you are a debt collector, I don't care if the government has summoned you here, that doesn't give you the right to come into my house and repossess items worth $200 to pay off a debt. That's not how it works, okay? My head just hurts at the, just the stupidity that people have thinking that just because uh, somebody appears on their screen a few times a week that they're just completely void of human rights and people are just allowed to just cross every boundary possible because hey, uh, I'm allowed to, you're a celebrity, that's your job. No, it's not. No, it's not. Ow. <laughs> make sure you sub to the channel if you're new, okay? If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Not the dislike button. I know they kind of look similar, but don't hit the dislike one. That's, no, no, no. That's not good for anyone. That's not what we want. And uh, make sure you ring that notification bell as well so you can see my new videos coming up very shortly as soon as they're dropped. Pa-pow! Bye! Bye!